welcome back to the blogging breakdown today i wanted to address a few frequently asked questions here on this channel so if you have questions don't forget i love doing these videos and answering your questions whenever i get a chance so just go ahead and throw all your questions down uh, below and i'll be sure to do a dedicated video to your question um, of course i'll reply to you in your comments almost immediately but a few questions that i keep getting on here number one was talking about collections so whenever you go onto the ltk app you'll be able to view your collection so, so you can have numerous posts all in one collection so let's say that you're wearing um like you have a jeans collection you can house all the posts that that have certain jeans or you're wearing actual jeans and put them in these collections so that people can take a look at some of your favorite jeans so like on mine i have the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I basically housed all the outfits that I had from the Nordstrom anniversary sale on to that collection. Uh, not to be confused with products. So if you go onto your app, you can also have uh, a products post. Why is this not here? Oh, because they have it on a tab now. Okay, so you can actually go to the products post and that's where all your product sets are housed. So these are going to be like actual images of that the retailer puts out so you can let's say you have like all the tennis shoes that you wear and you want to just put them all in the product set so they can go and check out all the tennis shoes that you're liking so even if you don't have um like an editorial video that or photo that you can put onto your collections uh but you just want to show like all the nike shoes that are new arrivals today. You can put them all in the product sets or your most loved uh, beauty products. You can put those in product sets and it basically just has, it just lists the actual products. It doesn't have to be an actual video or photo that you have provided. It's just the product image that makes sense. So those are products. But, but collections is one I get asked a lot and there could be two reasons that you are not able to uh, have collections on your profile. Number one is that you do not have um, an Apple phone, iOS. So it's only available for iOS. I know Android users, like you really got the short end of the stick when it comes to LTK. I feel like some stuff they're starting to roll out to Android, but they're really prioritizing iOS. So if you don't have iOS, then you're not going to be able to do collections on your phone. Um, and then number two, if you do have an Apple phone, but you still cannot create collections, probably because you don't have enough posts. So you have to have a minimum of eight posts already published onto your LTK storefront in order to have the capability to create a collection. So in order to create the collections, you just actually go to the black app, the LTK creator app, and then you should have a link where it says my collections and create collections. Now, in order to create the collections, you have to at least tag three different posts. So again, this was, comes in handy when you have like an actual like library that you can choose from, from published posts on your LTK storefront. So first thing you want to do is create a title. Um, I like to add description and I use keywords on there. So it just kind of enhances discoverability across the LTK platform. And then you can go ahead and select your post. So when you put select post, it's going to bring up all your LTK posts that you have already published, not scheduled. So you can't put scheduled posts on your collections. They have to already be published and like out to the public. And then you can click on whichever that you want. So again, you have to have a, a minimum of three posts uh, for you to actually create a whole collection. And then you can always come back if you want to add uh, future posts that maybe are either scheduled or maybe you haven't created yet, you can always add them back into a collection. It's just like a folder, um, just makes it a lot easier for your followers to find items that you share across your LTK storefront. Another way you can easily add your published post or post that you're about to publish onto a collection is whenever you click that plus button in order to create a post, like let's say you're creating a post, I'm just gonna do this one and so I'm not even going to put a caption. Oh, I guess I have to do this. <laughs> okay. I think I was wearing it here, whatever. Okay. Okay. So then you can go ahead and click collections and then you can add it to whichever. So that hat is actually from H and M 
click next and then you can publish it and that way it just automatically adds it to your collection or you can do it after the fact it's fine no biggie another question that i get asked is how do you create folders so the folders are actually going to be um, how you kind of like separate your items on your actual like um, saved products so your linked products and it's it's helpful to have folders just to make it easier on yourself so that you can find products easily so i like to use folders i either do it like seasonally like i have lookbooks on bella style living so i'll do like my may lookbooks and i'll link all the products that i'm using on my lookbook on there i also do it by retailer um, and then i also do it like if i'm doing the nordstrom anniversary sale i have folders that are like and sell accessories and sell shoes and sell tops so that way it just makes it a lot easier for me to go back to because if you have just everything and anything in just one folder it's going to be really hard for you to kind of like sift through all the products if you want to like go back to it and link it so what you do whenever you um, are creating a product so we can go ahead and go to let me just go to walmart and we are going to i'm just going to link something what's on here <laughs> give me something okay it's also back to school so it's a lot of back to school stuff oh my gosh can i just have a product please okay these glue the glue sticks so i'll hit my link button and then whenever that pulls up you'll be able to see that it says add to folder so you can add the folder here um i'm gonna put it under not lids uh kids so you can just put it on like you know whichever folder now if you want to add a new folder you can hit this little plus sign and then i'll do like back to school supplies and then I mean, you could put Walmart if you want to do like different back to school supplies, Target or back to school, back to school supplies, Amazon. I'm just going to do back to school supplies because I don't do a ton of that. Um, and that way, whenever you go back, you can go, you know, type in in the search bar back and then you can hit it on back to school supplies search and then save that. And it has saved uh, the link. So then whenever I go to my actual saved products, I can look on the search box back to school supplies and there is my um, glue stick so then I can like use that whenever I want to create a post. So that is how you uh, make your folders. Again, you wanna be very strategic. It can, also I would suggest making sure that you're cleaning up your folders periodically because I have some stuff from like 2022. Um, so it'll be like NCEL 2022 and for some reason like I still have that on there. So I would go ahead and delete that um, just so that it just, you don't have to like keep scrolling into infinity to find whatever, you know, um, products you are trying to make it like concise and like it makes sense to make your life a lot easier okay and then this next question was from the southern duchess she was asking how i had previously in another video mentioned that you shouldn't be changing your um actual like ltk store name or like your handle there so like my handle on there is maria munoz um I wanted to change it to Maria S. Munoz because that's how it is on Instagram and it's on YouTube and, or on my Bella Stop Living when it's on Maria S. Munoz. But I just went ahead and left it because whenever you change that, then everything that you like, if you've shared your storefront handle out, like especially on blog posts, which, you know, kind of tend to forget like where you put that link in it's going to change it so if you ever look at your actual storefront url it's like shopltk.com slash explore slash and then it's your handle so if you change it then that's going to be a different url that makes sense so you don't want to change it now um this creator actually said that she hasn't started creating any posts yet she just shares individual links i think the individual links you're you're fine with uh but as far as like your actual sharing ltk posts that is going to skew your url so that's why you don't want to change your name um unless you have a spreadsheet where you actually are keeping track every you know blog post or you know if you have youtube every youtube video that you're sharing that url to your ltk storefront then go ahead and get all those changed over but 
I do want to throw that out there because that happened to me on my blog where I don't know what it was. Um, there was something going on with the URLs, not because I changed it. I don't know if it was something on LTK's back end, but the URL was different. Um, it had like a, like Maria 20% Munoz. It was weird. Um, and so whenever I linked that on my blog, it was coming back as an error message. So eventually I got it fixed, but I just want y'all to make sure like always check those links and make sure that they are actually working and driving back to your LTK storefront. Uh, otherwise, I mean, it's like nobody's going to be able to see your stuff. Another little update on LTK that actually came down like this week is that uh, now you will be getting paid every single week. So that is great. So before the payment schedule was like every other week, every Friday, every other Friday is whenever we would get paid. Now, I think at last check, I'm sure that the threshold of 25, minimum of 25 uh, closed commissions, um, you have to have a minimum of 25 in order to get paid. Otherwise, uh, if you only have like $10, they're not going to pay you. But if you meet that threshold, then you'll get paid every single uh, week. So that is great. What else came out? I've been on a, a lot of calls lately with LTK. Um, usually they'll like invite you to like LTK Zooms. I'm not sure if they're available for everybody um, or if they just like just to some creators, I'm not sure, but you know, anytime that I learn any information, I'm going to go ahead and relay it to you guys. So, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, um, in case you're not following me, um, on here. Cause anytime that I learn something new, I love to share it with you guys. Um, another thing I want to bring up is also my new blogging course. So, uh, as, as you can see on this channel, I share a lot of LTK tips and I share a lot of blogging tips. So I primarily consider myself a blogger than YouTuber, uh, or content creator. So, I, I put a lot of effort into my blog just because it gets me about 50% commission. It's like 50% comes from me sharing on social and like just the LTK app. And then like 50% comes from my blog links or affiliate links that I share on there. So I feel like having a blog is just so beneficial. Um, and so it took me a very long time to learn to do it right, to make it profitable. And I promised myself that as soon as I learned how to do it, like I would share that information with somebody else because I know how hard it is to do all of this stuff by yourself. Like I am a one woman show here. Like, and that's why I feel better because sometimes like my videos, I don't, I'm not as consistent as I want to be on here because I also have another YouTube channel and then I have two vlogs and then obviously, you know, Instagram is just a lot for one person. So, um, I really appreciate you guys being very patient with me. Um, but I do have a blogging course where I share everything that I have learned in the past six years of blogging. So, and how I make money on my blog. So I will leave the link for the course down below. So you can take a look at my landing page and see if it's something that you want to sign up for. I'm very proud of the work that I put into it. I spent all summer, uh, creating this course for you guys. And it's just, um, it's a labor of love for sure. <laughs> uh, so if you are somebody who is wanting to dive into or like learn my techniques on how to create a profitable blog, then definitely go check that out. Um, but that's really all I have for you guys today. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified uh, whenever my next video comes up. But I really appreciate you guys being here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day and we'll chat soon. Bye.